Good afternoon, guys. This is a real quick video looking at uh, our commodities, uh, specifically crude oil in this video. Uh, I looked at the, the price of oil when I first woke up this morning, and it had dropped down to around nine bucks and i looked at it a few minutes ago and it had dropped down to four bucks now i'm looking at it again and we're at three dollars and four cent for a barrel of crude oil uh that and in just the however many minutes less than two minutes we dropped down i think it was 304 down to 236 Guys, this is ridiculous. I've never even seen anything like it. I know for an absolute certainty that oil has never been this low in my lifetime. I think the lowest it's ever been in my entire life is 17 bucks. I tried to find uh, some graphs on it, and the uh, only graphs that I could find uh, go back about 70 years, and never in that 70 years did it ever go below uh, like 12 bucks I think and again man it's uh just a few moments later crude oil down to one dollar and forty cents this is uh that's ridiculous man and I don't even know what to say about that that puts us at like I don't know maybe 45 cent gas maybe cheaper Peek at those metals for a second. Palladium uh, had gone up quite high. You see it's almost a 25% de decrease between uh, April 20th and June 20th. Uh, price mark platinum if you don't know that's used to make the catalytic converters in uh, in cars mostly for EPA regulations uh, platinum serves as a uh, as a filter system it's a uh, very shiny metal it's used in um, jewelries and stuff like that but the largest demand for it is for automobile manufacturing and filtering processes of uh of air contaminated air taking out uh, uh different uh well you might think carcinogens but not necessarily just harmful emissions uh away from your exhaust see how far this has moved again nope I don't want to do any of these things hmm dollar thirty five this is crazy it might be one of the craziest things that I've seen. And you can say, ooh, that's because nobody's using oil or gas to go anywhere. And that could be true. There is a definitely supply and demand situation there. But one must strongly consider the fact that the supply has always been more than sufficient. And it has been the suppression of, uh, of drilling for oil, uh, refining the oil into gasoline and the restrictions on that and, and most of these restrictions are agreed upon restrictions due to the OPEC uh, OPEC uh, agreement that came shortly after the Treaty of Versailles it's uh, it, they have decided to work together all these OPEC nations to suppress the amount of oil that they drill and the amount of products they produce otherwise the products would flood the market and we would see prices like this all the time and then on the other hand side of the coin if they all produced as much oil as they could and it made it to the market and the consumers uh bought the cheapest oil ultimately the people who are producing this oil would not likely be able to maintain that production cost and be profitable. Let's do a little 
refresh on that. Oh, it did go up a little bit. That's a that's a good sign. So, man, this is rather exciting. I'll tell you one good thing about it as a piece of advice. If you can buy up as much gasoline as you can at the pump, starting about seven to ten days from now, and then going forward, well, I mean, until the prices start going back up, I don't know how strongly this price change right here is going to affect gas at the pump. It really depends on how long it maintains uh, at this price. Oh, it went up again. That's good news. That's pretty good news. That's not bad at all. I will show you guys. Let's see. Now this is the long history of oil prices, and I'm not sure if this is uh, this graph is actually adjusting for inflation or not, but this is in 1862 to 1865. The U.S. Civil War drives up commodity prices and uh, uh, tax uh, on competing illuminate. Uh, I guess that's other oils that you can burn for light. Uh, the demand went up during the Civil War, and it went up to about 120 a barrel, it looks like. But the low looks like it was still above $10, and that's going all the way back to the Civil War. I've never seen prices this low before. Oh, that's a jump up, two dollars and thirty cents. That's uh, almost a full dollar jump from what we saw it being the lowest even a few minutes ago. I'm really interested to see how this works out. Oh my goodness, guys! And this is just a few moments later. You can see the clock up in the top left-hand corner of my recording uh that's real time we have just dropped to 40 cents a barrel less than a dollar per barrel now it started going back up you know we were at the the 140 the 130 it jumped back up to the 230 it looked like it was going to come back up and then in just a matter of moments man we're at cents 40 cents a barrel for oil uh, if one would say that you could buy oil right now at 40 cents and if the price for June the 20th holds up that you could make fifty times that's right fifty times your investment in 30 days uh, if you bought it for 41 cents now and sold it for $20.25 on June the 20th, then, uh, guys, you can't do this. Trust me, you can't do it. These types of deals and these types of situations, you have to have the ability to pick up thousands of barrels of oil and have it brought to wherever you're going to be selling it or distributing it there is so much logistics involved when you're talking about buying commodities on this scale it's not something that we can do we're not looking at it right now to say hey let's buy these commodities we're looking at it holy cow 23 cents a barrel is a new update um, as how it's going to affect your life at the pump and in your life otherwise and just to help understand the overall economic uh, stance of what's going on Dude, this is insane 21 cents a barrel in moments I keep hitting this refresh guys and when I do uh, they might pop up an, an advertisement for, uh, you know, for this app. 
just deal with it I do uh, this app right here you see uh, the logo on it that little uh, double arrow square red and green with a cache in the middle of it uh, it's commodities this is uh, the app that I use on my phone and I find it to be very reliable oh it just jumped up doubled to 47 cents I mean I don't blame them if I had the money to be buying it I'd buy it all up let's peek at the metals real quick while we're here not much of a change not much of a change silver sits unchanged okay well then that's not bad news 12 cents holy cow 12 cents a flipping barrel on oil right now guys that is uh oh my goodness I, I don't even think you could buy no chance that you could buy the container to hold the oil for the price of the oil no ch no chance whatsoever an absolute impossibility take a real quick peek and uh at our stocks um yeah that's kind of a whatever let's go back to our commodities <coughs> refresh well guys i've given you a a glimpse of what's going on right now inside of uh the commodities market especially in uh, the crude oil and uh, yeah, I'm giving you the app that I look at to uh, see these commodity prices. Uh, download the app. You can follow exactly what I'm saying. And then also uh, you can come back and check out another video. And I will tell you more information like this and other ways how to navigate life concerning these type situations. Oh my goodness, guys. In the short period of time since the last video and now I'm taking like a few moments, it has dropped down to five cents a barrel. Five cents a barrel. You could not possibly pay the cost of the electricity required to pump a gallon of oil for five cents. I'm saying to pump it from one container into the other using an electric pump, you could not do it for five cents. It's you just couldn't do it. It it would cost more than that. Uh, and that's is this is crazy. Five cents a barrel, guys. I I don't know why they haven't frozen the markets or something. I I don't know. This is a situation that is almost impossible to look at and decide what's what's really about to happen based on the on the the idea that it's never happened before. This is uh unprecedented. And again, if you were to buy oil right now for five cents a barrel, you could make four hundred times uh i think that's right four yeah 400 times uh your money that's a four t thousand percent increase on your investment that is absolutely insane absolutely insane uh well, guys, I'm going to end this video here. If you've watched up to this point, thank you very much for your time. You could have been doing anything else in the world right now, and you chose to be here looking at numbers with me, uh, trying to see what's going to happen in our future. I want you to know that I really appreciate it. If you're not already subscribed, please do click that like button, and please comment down below what in the world you think is going on. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you again soon with another video. Bye-bye.
Dancing in the desert, blowing up the sunshine. 